welcome to another edition of City Spotlight. I'm your host, Pablo Pereira. Today we continue our preview series of local businesses here in Calabasas. And if you haven't figured out by now, today's show is all about wine. We're at the Winecast store in Old Town, Calabasas, where they offer wines from around the world. It's an art gallery, and yes, they even produce their own wine as well. Let's find out some more. So we're here at uh, the Winecast, new wine store here in Calabasas with General Manager Lydia Darian and a beautiful new wine store right in our own local community here. Thank you. What, when did the wine store open and why this location? This particular location actually just opened in July, so we're relatively new to the community. Uh, it's a perfect place for our, our wines. We actually specialize in wines from all over California, Santa Barbara region uh, mostly and also uh, the Burgundy region in France. So it just seemed like this is the perfect spot for us. So you specialize in California wines, but a couple of your own wines are near and dear to the owner's heart because he produces them himself. Correct, absolutely. Um, that vineyard is called Coquelicot, and that means red poppy in France. Um, and this is one of our actually lovely selections, the 06 Syrah, it's really quite nice. And we also have a, a beautiful 06 Chardonnay as well. We do the steel fermented Chardonnay and we do the nice oak fermented Chardonnay as well. So you have that nice selection. And these are all, these grapes are grown not too far from here, really? Not too far at all, actually. The um, vineyard is actually in Solvang and we do have a really lovely taste of in Los Olivos. Mm -hmm. But these are all Santa Ynez Valley grapes. Correct, then. they are. Yes, they And are. that's pretty, pretty important. I mean, people think Sonoma, they think Napa, but Santa Ynez has its own fans as well. Absolutely. It? They've certainly created their own niche and we've definitely honed in on that as well. How many bottles of wine? How many varieties of wine? I'd say roughly there? we have about 500 different types of wine. Now, how many at any given time? Very certainly. But yeah, we have a huge selection. And the beautiful thing about it is, is that we have a wide variety of price points as well. So you can get the beautiful, wonderful high-end um, price of wine that we're used to, but also the really nice, beautiful $20, $30 bottle finds. That's what makes it a lot of fun for us. Yeah, let me, let's me let talk about that a little bit. Uh, so much has been made of the economy and business everywhere. And maybe people cutting back a little bit on those $100 bottles, $50 bottle of wines. They can come into a place like this and, and still get something of quality and value as Absolutely, well. absolutely. It's great for gift giving. Certainly people always like usually like to stay in the higher end wines. But um, our wine consultants here are really readily available to go ahead and suggest anything within your price point. And what's been the reaction of the community so far? It's been this? wonderful. We've been very fortunate, very fortunate. Um, with that being said, we're really excited to hopefully announce in mid, around mid-February we're going to have our tasting room available here at the Wine Cask in Calabasas. So we're really excited about that. So it'll become more of a little bit of a community get-together place as well as just a we wine We anticipate store. that, absolutely. And we pride ourselves on our customer service. So hopefully that... The customer service, the tasting room, and certainly the selection will bring them back. Why buy a bottle of wine here than your, than your grocery store down the street? Why would you think it's you know, a better place to question. go? Excellent question. Excellent question. Again, we pride ourselves on the customer service factor um, and also our individual wine consultants that we do have here. We're all very educated on the wine that is here that we are pouring um, and uh, hopefully can answer any questions you might have. Put you at ease. And what might I find in here as far as regions go outside of California? Oh, goodness. We've labeled all of where our regions and all of where we have the white burgundies, the red Bordeaux. We certainly have the Rhone style blends. Um, we also have some fabulous Spanish wines, which are exciting. And um, let's see, where else? We also have something from, some from South Africa. You name it, we probably have it here. And the owner of the store owns restaurants too, not locally as he a does, yet, but yes, he's, yes. he's Bernard into food Ro and wine. Correct. Bernard Rosenson, he does. He owns um, the Sky Room over at the Breakers Hotel in Long Beach. He actually, and we also have a beautiful restaurant in our Santa Barbara location. It's called the Intermezzo Cafe, which is wonderful, and that's been there for a while. So we, they definitely have a nice steady clientele at our Santa Barbara location as well. So why do you think he picked this location? What made Calabasas and Old Town attractive, do you think, for a wine store? Well, um, for the fact that he does reside here, which is really a, a nice plus. Um, it just seemed like a natural, it was a natural fit. It was something that the, I think the community was ready for and the timing was right.
Well, a real fun feature of the store actually is we do what's called the wine of the week. And this is offered to everyone that comes into the store. And we also, if you give us your email address, we'll go ahead and shoot you a nice little email first thing Monday morning so you know exactly what we're going to be focusing on that week. And it's a really amazing wine at a really great discount. Again, we just want you to come on in, try the product, check it out, and see what you think. And what are, what are we featuring this particular week? This week, week, this is the Cobblestone 03 Napa Cab, which mm. you can't go wrong with. Okay, so I'm looking for something a little fun. You told me you had kind of a fun section here. We do, that. actually. Um, just to kind of mix it up a little bit, Pablo, we actually have a really nice section, what's called our Red Blends. Um, this, these are usually wines you might not think to try. These are some blends that might have a nice Grenache, Louvetro blend to it. Um, again, perhaps you might, it might not come to mind, but one of your wine consultants here can go ahead and suggest this for you to give it a try. What would you recommend just right off the bat? Right off the bat, um, let's see, probably the Cuvée Christie. And the beautiful thing about this is, again, we'll go ahead and tell you, but this does have a Grenache Syrah Mouvetre blend. Excellent. Can't go wrong with that. So the other thing you have to consider and think about is, I guess, what you might be serving as far as your meal goes. That plays a big part in, in, in wine selection. But What's the rule of thumb as yeah. far as wines go? What someone should ask you is how you're going to prepare it. Um, people prepare their dishes very differently. Um, we don't want the wine fighting with the food. We want it to complement it. So hopefully the first thing that comes out of your wine consultant's mouth is going to be they're going to ask you how you're going to prepare that steak, lamb, veal, what have you. So is it steak and red wine, fish and white wine, or can you break these rules? For the most part, for the most part. And we can explain that when you come on in, and, and there's some, some ways to get around that. Mm -hmm. So what, what should I know? Can I serve a red with a white in the same meal or not? Absolutely. There's definitely an order to that. You always want to start with your whites, certainly, and then move on to your red, something that's more bolder and intense and complex. Um, but yeah, you can go from there. Mm -hmm.